Welcome to a TMMI video presentation. Today we'd like to talk about the GE Advantage licensing and how to activate your licenses. Our objectives are to be able to license your installed GE software, whether it's Prophecy Machine Edition, iFix, or Simplicity, to name a few, using the common licensing software, and to understand how to activate those licenses from the GE Cloud Server and to be able to return those licenses back to the GE Cloud Server if needed. Our assumptions are that you have the latest version of the common licensing software installed. When you purchase software from GE, you will receive an email with a 16-digit activation code similar to the one shown here. You'll also have a link that you can go to to download the latest version of the licensing software. I have cut this application code into my clipboard so that I can use it in my licensing software. I've downloaded the latest version of the common licensing software from the GE website to my desktop. It can be activated by simply double clicking on the icon. Since we have chosen to activate our licenses using the GE Cloud Server, the only thing we need to install here is the first option which is the licensing client. Once it is installed, you can hit exit here and then go find the license client under Prophecy Common License Client. Once you click on that, we'll be able to activate our licenses. Here's my licensing software up, and if I click on the View Licenses tab, you can see that currently I have no licenses on this computer. So I'm going to go back to my Activate Licenses tab, and there's multiple selections for activating your licenses, but the one we're going to talk about in this video presentation is the first one to license from the cloud server. I'd like to call your attention to the little icon down here below. There's a picture of the cloud with a lightning bolt in it. When this is highlighted, it tells me that I have connectivity to the GE cloud server via the internet. I can also see the version of the licensing software I'm using, which happens to be, in my case, 17.4. I'm going to go back and select option number one, License from the Cloud Server. This brings up a screen where I can paste in my activation code that I received in my email to be able to go to the cloud and pull down my licenses. I've added this code to my list, and you can note that you could add other codes as well and activate multiple licenses simultaneously if desired. I click on the activation button here, and this takes me out to the cloud server and will pull down the licenses that I've purchased. And then back on our view tab, you can see the list of all the software that's available for me to run on this computer. Now I also mentioned that you may want to return a license so that it might be able to be used on a different computer in your office. And that can be accomplished by simply clicking on Return License, selecting the license that you wish to return, and clicking on the Return button here. This will send your license back to the cloud server and make it available to be downloaded again on another computer. Once the license is returned, if I click on my View Licenses tab, you can see that no licenses were found on this computer. I'd like to take a moment and just call your attention to the Customer Center. This can be found at the digitalsupport.ge.com address shown here. And this will allow you to create an account with GE. Right here you can see where it says if you're not registered, you can sign up now and be able to see all of the software you've purchased. So once you're signed up, you can go and click on the assets portion of your account and be able to see the products that you've purchased. For example, we've got a, somebody's purchased Prophecy Web Space and Prophecy Historian. You can also see the serial number given here and the activation codes that you were given in your original email. If you go back and click on the orders section, it will take you to the spot to where you can actually download the software, the installation software that you've purchased. This concludes our video presentation. Thanks for watching.